now I know I said that I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step build of bu building up this kit I'm just going to take the parts apart clean it up and put it on the trees but then again after reviewing all these parts that make up everything you know from the core 2 to the Uranus gun armor and then the whole other thing around it yeah we gotta really show it off step by step so you guys can understand this and I can understand it as well so let us begin assembly we're gonna begin with the torso and then the head first the torso uh, the chest unit uh, there's a bit of prep work here so first we're gonna take this Put it in like that until it looks like this. Same thing with this one here. So there, it goes like that. Then we take this part. I believe there goes a part that goes in there. And that goes in here. And since I don't see anything else in the instructions to put in there, I'll just seal it up like so. That pretty much summarizes this. Then we have the this part that goes here. The clear part that goes there. Alright, just turn this make sure everything looks good another clear part that actually no, I'm going to put this one in first I just have to open this up a bit slide it in so it goes all the way in up, up, ooh, close that was very close that actually looks really nice. Okay. Then we have a ball cap that goes here. This one that goes there. This one that goes here. Like so. Then we put, turn around this to put on this backpack type part. Or oh, wait a minute. There's a thruster here first and it goes the other way. Yeah, like that. And then there are two parts here. And then we have these that pretty much, you know, they look like wings, but they're the uh, beam saber hilts. Looks like that. That's pretty much it. Now as for the head, I already did prep work with putting on the stickers that make up the eyes. The small parts here too, so you got to be very careful with this. Not as small as a real grade, but small enough that you may it may f pop out of your hand and you go, oh god, where is it? Alright, so I'm going to take that there. Take this, put that there. V fin that goes here, and then you have a, a clear jewel like item. Uh, it goes like that. Huh. Alright. That's actually really neat. Nice. And I might as well put this one on. Feels like I'm I'm holding the si something the size of the Lodo, which I wish I had here as a demonstration, but it is a small small version of this kit. All right, so the head and torso are complete. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. Next up is going to be the waist unit of the Core Two. And there's actually another poly cap that's required, so let's get that into play. Actually, before I put that on, this hold on a second. So that goes here. 
then that one would cover up to this, like so. Then we take this. Hold on a second. Uh, it goes that way. It goes that way. There we go. That slides up into place. That's actually really nice. I kind of like that that gimmick. Put that here. In a very very short um, front skirt armor. I would not recommend cutting this into two because that will look weird. And that pretty much makes up this very very tiny waist unit. All right. That's done. Let's move on to the next part of this kit. Alright, so the next part is going to be the arms of the Core 2 Gundam. Very small parts, especially at this area for the shoulders. Oh! Alright. Not as easy as I think. Right. Pop it out again. Put it in again. There we go. So that completes that. This part here. Uh, goes like that. like this. And then we have some very, very short arms. Followed by the part there. And put that in like so. And we have this that goes here. That, that goes, I believe, like that. It goes this one like that. And, yeah, these are really small hands. Oh, my God. There is an open hand part. But this is pretty much it. There's no um, part that goes on, on the back part of the hand. So there you have it. Very, very small arms that makes up the Gundam Core 2. Yeesh. So tiny. Is my zoom okay? Jesus, I don't even know if, I, if I'm zooming right. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Let's now move on to the next part of the build. Alright, so the next part of the build is going to be the legs of the Core 2. And for that, I'm going to need this part. Followed by this one that goes here, like that. And turn this around. Actually, hold on. There's a little bit of leftover plastic. Just clean it up as I go along. Obviously, I'll clean it up later on. So that completes that. Then this goes here, followed by this one, and this angle. And then this one here, like so. So that completes that part. Then we have this part. This part here going like that. Putting this two together like so. Looking at this looks like a catapult. But in reality, this is the foot. So you put this detail part here on top, so it looks like that. And then as the instruction goes, you want to put that there 
until it goes all the way in, and then tilt this. And you have like a chicken leg type setup for the foot. Very weird. But that's how it is. This one part here goes through this, like so. All the way. So that completes that. And then we have this part. So here, come on, get in there, and then, hold on, messed up here, let me pull it out, here we go. Put that there, and put that through here, make sure it goes all the way in like that. Alright, so the legs of the Core 2 Gundam is now complete. Very stocky, very short. Almost feels a little wobbly, but it's understandable. Let's put this little guy together and see how it looks. Alright, so here are the parts that make up the Core 2. Let's put it together and see how it looks. This is pretty much we're going to be very quick. Put the right leg there, left leg there, and then we have the right arm, sorry the left arm, and then the right arm. And then we put that there. And that's pretty much it. In all due fairness, this is the neatest little thing I've seen so far. <laughs> oh my god. This is so... It, it feels like I, I just built like a Haro plot type uh, model kit. Yet there was a lot of parts that make up this little guy. You know, the engineering of the legs, the design of the arm. Um, the only, And of course you have a bigger... Um, you have the, way, the, the, the torso and the waist. This thing measures about uh, one, two, three, four, four inches. You have little, little wings back here that can be also the beam saber hilt. If I want to pull out one of the beam rifle, um, beam effect parts, but that will go right here. That's actually really nice. Good detail, though, really. I don't see any issues that I, I'm foreseeing here for painting-wise. Just uh, certain, certain areas I'm going to have to clean up, scar marks and all that stuff. Yeah, very nice. Well, you know, uh, it's interesting how um, this kit was... It, the inspiration of this kit in, in the last episode of um, Re-Rise, which was episode 19. And Spoiler alerts if you guys have not seen it. But Hiro, Hiro, um, was uh, influenced by a speed grade kit, and speed grades are around one two hundred scale. So this is technically a oh he began with a one two hundred scale kit, and then he said, you know what, let me build a one hundred two one two hundred scale kit, and then build up the one 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 forty four scale kit from there. Oops, sorry. So. So seeing this, I can understand where where the idea, you know, the genesis of his idea came from. Um, it would have been. It, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Bandai began making one two hundred scale speed grade kits. It's a discontinued brand because uh, when it first when it was first introduced, I think there was the, the Zeta, the Wing, and the RX seventy two. I had the the Zeta one time a long time ago, and I built it. I don't have it here anymore, but it's kind of neat to see something like that, and obviously, if if the reception of the speed builds are come back again, you know, wouldn't be surprised if they start remanufacturing the speed grade kits again. Um, it's 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 a great gift for anybody if you can get their hands on it. It's probably it's probably expensive as hell because they're no longer making it. But then again, Bandai may decide to redo it again. I also built this little 
base stand here. This uh, small little stand, so I'll put that right there and give it a a you know B type thing. <clears throat> oh, by the way, um, in the um, let me just bring this down because I think I have it too high up. Let me just There we go. In the parts that was in, in the kit, there there was also solid hands that you don't have to assemble. So you have another set of hands, and I think that's actually for the probably for the high grade kit. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten to the next point, but yeah, it looks kind of cool. I like that. And this thing doesn't. <laughs> All right, there you go. Alright, so this completes the core two. Let's now move on to the weaponry and the and the it's actually called let me see here. So you have the weaponry and the core then the core fly, flyer and then the Uranus armor. So let's move on to that part of the build. And then once we finish it then we'll do a final assembly. And then we'll begin the process of painting. But let's move on to the next part of the build.